Hey everyone, welcome to Intuitive Gems. Today I decided to do a pick a card reading. Uh, someone had asked if I had ever done one of these before and actually I have not, but I thought it would be fun to kind of do one here on a video for all of you. Now the question that we are going to be asking is what is the message that spirit or the universe has for you for the month of February? Now as you can see, I've got three piles of cards here. This first stack is the citrine stack. I've got a beautiful piece of raw citrine here. The second stack is a really pretty piece of agate. And then this third stack has a really nice piece of pyrite. So go ahead and I guess just kind of relax and figure out which stack of cards you want to see what the message is now of course you know if you're interested in all three that's fine or if two are calling to you that's fine too but um, basically we're going to be focusing on what is the message that spirit has for you for the month of february Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take, it the look, take a look at the cards from the first stack. This is the Citrine stack. Now, if you're not familiar with the crystal Citrine, it is a beautiful crystal used in a lot of prosperity and abundance work. And this is a raw piece of Citrine. Very, very beautiful. And I, I mean, I can't say enough good things about it. It's, it's a beautiful stone, and I have worked with it quite a bit. So let's take a look here. Okay, for this first stack here, I see the Three of Swords in reverse. We have the Queen of Cups in reverse, and then we also have the High Priestess card. So when I look at these cards, uh, the first thing that comes to my mind is like, you've gone through a lot of emotional pain. You've had your heart broken, and it may or may not be in relation to a, a love relationship, but you've been disappointed in, in the recent past. And the way that your cards have come up is that, you know what, you may have been hurt recently, but it is passing. You are healing from that pain. Now I also see the Queen of Cups here. The Queen of Cups, now she is a very passionate, fiery woman. Um, she's very much someone who really likes to take the time to really focus on her gut instincts and what, what um, messages she's getting from the universe. Very similar to the High Priestess in this case. And it's interesting that both of these cards show up because that tells me that you really need to tap into your intuition. You really need to focus on what is your heart telling, telling you. Now sometimes in certain, in certain circumstances we do have to make choices based on logic and analytics. But these cards are saying to really tap into how you feel. You really need to focus on what feels right for you at this time. In the past, you have neglected to do that, and that has caused some emotional pain and some emotional trauma. But again, you're healing from that, but the message for you is to really focus on how you feel. What does it feel like when you sit still? What does it feel like when you meditate? And then use that uh, wisdom and that clarity to make your decisions. Next, you have the Buffalo Spirit card. And this says, the abundant universe will provide. So this card is basically telling you that you don't have to worry and you don't have to feel like you're suffering or in lack in any way. You are going to have your needs met and you are going to have the things that you desire, whether it be now or in the future. But just remember, to trust that you are not lacking in any way and whatever you need will be provided to you at the right time. 
And finally, your Oracle of E card is brand spanking new. So this is a message about starting all over, getting a fresh beginning, a new start, and letting go of whatever happened in, in the past and not allowing those ties to the past to cloud your vision for the future. Start fresh, start anew, because the universe is definitely on your side. And now it's time to go with card stack number two. This is the stack that had this beautiful piece of agate that I actually found on the beach many years ago. It's got some um, kind of turquoise color and I'm hoping the camera is going to focus, but it's a beautiful, calming, restful stone that's great for meditation, for focus, and just for um, supporting the heart chakra and it's good for calming in times of stress. Now let's go ahead and see what the message is for you. Now your cards, you have the Three of Wands in reverse, you have Strength in reverse, and you also have the Judgment card upright. Now when I look at these cards here, I have a feeling, and I can see that you've been going through some type of a challenge. It could be something at work, it could be um, maybe some things that you had thought were going to move forward necessarily did not happen, or maybe it did happen, but it didn't happen in the way that you wanted it to or the way that you had anticipated that it would. I also see the strength card in reverse, which means, you know, you've pretty much just given up the fight. You're tired of doing too much for too little in return. But I have to tell you that this judgment card showing in the upright position says that, you know, things are actually going to work out fairly. Even if you may have been... Um, I don't want to say wronged, but even if you have been treated been treated unfairly in the recent past or something happened that didn't quite work out in a way that was fair and beneficial to all involved, don't worry because you know things are coming back. You are going to be rewarded in the sense for all of this stress and this hard work that you've put in. It is going to turn out in, in a fair way and it's also going to turn out in a way that could be better than what you expect. Now the judgment card is also a card about um, seeing things in a, in a very neutral perspective. In other words, not necessarily taking everything you see at face value, but also seeing things in a way without judging them. And I know that's really hard to do, but it is something that you're going to have to focus on for the month of February. And it's going to take a little bit of practice because it may be something new, but to really just, um, I guess, keep your calmness and your stillness with you throughout any type of challenge that you encounter this month is really going to help you grow and help you move past these other areas that have been causing you a lot of stress and a lot of grief. Oh, very interesting. You've got the lion spirit. Now, I find, I find it interesting that this card came up along with the strength card, the strength tarot card. So I'm wondering if there's maybe a Leo um, person, a, a significant Leo person or Leo energy in your life. But the card here says, be generous of spirit. And I'm seeing that this is more about kind of having that quiet strength. In other words, not necessarily showing and telling everybody how strong you are, but um, just kind of remaining strong in that silent way that is not so obvious, but yet it's a very calming and secure place to be. And your Oracle of E card 
Now this is cute. This is hair ball, <laughs> which basically means um, sometimes you're going to have to purge something in order to move forward, and that's okay. You know how when cats have hair balls, it's basically they kind of cough it up and then they feel much better after the fact? Well, you're going to have to do some of the same thing. You're going to have to purge something in order to move forward, but don't worry. The universe says it's going to be beneficial in the end. And if you chose pile number three, let's go ahead and get into your reading. This is the pyrite pile. Now pyrite is a beautiful crystal also to work with if you are doing any type of prosperity or abundance work. It's also a very grounding stone. So if you're feeling like you need to uh, really reconnect to the earth or maybe you're just feeling like you just kind of need to settle down for a little bit, pyrite is an excellent stone for you to work with. Now let's get into your cards and see what message the universe has for you for the month of February. Now I'm seeing here you've got the Queen of Pentacles upright the King of Pentacles in reverse, and then we have the Page of Cups in the upright position. Now, this is, from what I can see here, it looks like you've really been focusing on finances, wealth, money, um, stability, either in your business or actually in your personal life. And you've really come to a place now that you are starting to feel comfortable with where things are going in your professional or in your financial life. Now, you've kind of had some areas where maybe you've had unexpected bills or maybe you've been a little bit um, not so responsible as it relates to, I guess, day-to-day -day responsibilities, but it's okay because you do have some type of a good message, a positive message is coming to you. Now, it could be a message in, in regards to your relationship, or it could be a message of good news in some other area of your life. But I am seeing that um, things are going to go well for you. You are going to hit a few bumps. Maybe you're going to be tempted in a way to maybe do something that you may or may not do, but the temptation is too great and you give in, it's okay because you are going to recover and things are going to turn out well. But you know what? Keep your eyes and ear open again because you do have some type of a positive message or some good news headed your way. Now your spirit animal oracle card is the hummingbird spirit and it says to be here now. So the message from the universe is to say, be present in all that you do throughout the month of February. Try to stay really focused in the here and the now because that's really where you can make the biggest change. I know it's really hard. Sometimes we're so attached to the past or we look so far ahead into the future and we miss out all the things that are right in front of us. But this card is reminding us to stay focused in the present moment because that's where everything happens. And your Oracle of E card is Bazinga. <laughs> now it's funny because this also tends to kind of align with what we saw earlier with your tarot cards where I said I do see some type of a temptation coming up for you to um, it's like you're, you're going to want to have some fun and you may do something or spend money that you know you shouldn't, but you're all caught up in the moment and um, I'm seeing that the message is coming through loud and clear to enjoy it and embrace it and just know that you're not going to do too much damage and that you are going to have a good time and you deserve to have a good time with whatever it is.
Well, I hope you enjoyed this pick a card reading. If you have any questions about anything, feel free to drop those down in the comments below. And if you're not subscribed, please make sure you do so because I do have a lot more videos to come. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I'll definitely see you in the next video. Bye.